How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some super freaky video clips that no one can quite explain. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. Hi guys. Um, Shabazz so Ali, a 30-year-old chemistry teacher from Blackburn, UK, has gained considerable attention online for his sharp critiques of excessive wealth displays on social media. And once you're done being rich all day in the evening, you can party on a yacht. Because who doesn't like to party on a yacht? Well, you don't. Because you're poor. However, it's his experiences at his day job that are drawing a different kind of attention. Working late at a school that's over 450 years old, Shabazz has encountered a series of eerie and inexplicable events, like hearing strange noises and witnessing lights flickering without any apparent cause. Ever since I've been working and staying at work till late, so this is until about seven-ish, there's some weird things going on. I hear weird noises or just lights flicker. In a recent viral clip, Shabazz begins filming after hearing one of these inexplicable noises. Yep. But it sounded like something we... Yeah, yeah, it is. It's the book, isn't it? So this happens a lot. The books go from the shelves to the floor. From the shelf to the floor. A book suddenly falls off a shelf. It's just a joke. If there was a proper ghost, you'd give me a clear sign. <gasps> This incident has sparked a flurry of reactions from viewers, with some suggesting it's a prank or coincidence, while others believe it could be genuine paranormal activity. Adding to the mystery, a fellow teacher commented on the video sharing similar experiences of strange occurrences at another old school in the area. This teacher mentioned hearing whistling, footsteps, and doors opening and shutting by themselves. These accounts have led many to wonder if Shabazz's school, with its centuries-old history, could indeed be haunted. It's just a joke. If there was a proper ghost, you'd give me a clear sign. <gasps> In a heart-wrenching turn of events, Maricarmen Yaracahua, a resident of Peru known for her dedication to rescue animals, experienced an eerie yet comforting encounter after the passing of her beloved dog Scott. Mara Carmen returned home from dinner at her uncle's house only to be met with the devastating discovery that Scott had passed away during her absence. However, what made this tragedy even more puzzling was that Mara Carmen swore she saw Scott run by her as she returned home that evening. Struggling to comprehend the surreal experience, she decided to review her home security footage for any clues. What she found left her both shocked and comforted. The footage shows a shadowy figure resembling Scott, waiting by the front door as she approaches. To Mara Carmen, this was no ordinary shadow. She believes it's Scott's spirit staying behind momentarily to bid her farewell and offer her comfort in her grief. For Mara Carmen, the presence of Scott's shadowy figure was a profound and emotional experience. It brought her solace, providing a sense of closure and a belief that Scott was still with her in spirit, if only for a fleeting moment. Scott's story is a poignant reminder of the deep bonds we share with our pets and the ways they continue to touch our lives even after they've gone. For Mara Carmen, this extraordinary experience affirmed that Scott's love and loyalty transcended the physical realm, offering her a comforting farewell before moving on to the afterlife. This next clip's been going viral over this past week. Posted to TikTok by user Amy Not Here, it's captured the attention of many curious viewers. Amy, who was initially intending to send a small video to her mum, inadvertently caught something strange on camera while exploring Cochabamba in Bolivia.
As she turns to look across the street, an unidentified flying object can be seen zipping through the sky. The object becomes even stranger when viewed in slow motion, raising questions about its origin and nature. The clip has since racked up nearly 20 million views, with commenters scrambling to make sense of the bizarre sighting. So, has Amy accidentally captured a UFO on camera? The footage has certainly sparked a lot of speculation and debate among viewers, with many wondering if this could be a genuine sighting of something otherworldly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> In September 2023, YouTuber Sunny Vader uploaded some startling footage. Two friends embarked on a bow hunting trip in the wilderness east of the Banff Park boundary along the David Thompson Corridor in Alberta, Canada. What began as a typical adventure quickly turned into a spine-chilling experience, with strange occurrences that have left many speculating about the presence of something more mysterious than wildlife. On the night of September 8th, their first night at camp, the two hunters began hearing strange noises around their campsite. It sounded like a large animal moving nearby, prompting concerns it might be a bear. Taking no chances, the men cleaned up their campsite, removed any food scraps, and set up a hunting trail camera pointed towards their camp in hopes of capturing footage of the animal. The next night, around 2 a.m., the motion sensor on the camera was triggered and it began filming. What the camera captured has since sparked a flurry of speculation. In the top left-hand corner of the frame, a set of eyes can be seen reflecting the camera's infrared light. The eyes appeared to belong to a hulking form, too large to be a bear, according to the two hunters. The men believe this is a glimpse of Bigfoot, arguing that the size and shape of the creature don't match any known wildlife of the area. The footage shared on Sunny Vader's YouTube channel has gone viral with viewers debating the authenticity of the sighting. Some argue it could just be a bear, another large animal, while others firmly believe it's evidence of the elusive Bigfoot. The David Thompson Corridor is known for its dense forests and rugged terrain, making it an ideal location for such a mysterious sighting. This footage adds to the long history of Bigfoot sightings in North America, particularly in remote and heavily forested areas. As the debate continues, the question remains, could this really be Bigfoot? Whether a believer or a skeptic, the footage from the bow hunting trip is sure to intrigue and provoke thought about the mysteries that still lurk out there in the wilderness. A recent clip uploaded to the YouTube channel Scary Farm has left viewers baffled and spooked. Captured by a factory CCTV system, the footage shows something mysterious moving through the yard. The original owner of the footage and the exact location remain unknown, adding to the eerie quality of the clip. Take a look at what's being caught on camera. A strange shadowy figure appears floating across the yard. Employees have mentioned experiencing intense cold spots and an unsettling feeling of being watched, especially during night shift. One particularly chilling eyewitness account suggests that a worker died on the property many years ago, although verifying this claim has proven difficult. This has led to rampant speculation among viewers and paranormal enthusiasts. 
could this shadowy figure be the spirit of the deceased worker? Theories abound, but concrete answers remain elusive. This next piece of footage has been circulating on social media for several years, leaving viewers spooked. Originally uploaded to the YouTube channel Look Now TV, the clip's true origin remains unknown. Captured in late May 2021, the CCTV footage overlooks a quiet street. But watch what happens. An enormous black shadow drifts by, defying any easy explanation. The shadow is far too large to be a bug on the lens, and a closer inspection reveals it's casting a shadow on a nearby wall. This detail alone sets it apart from typical anomalies. Adding to the eeriness, the shadow appears to trigger the car alarms of two vehicles parked on the street, as evidenced by their flashing lights. Despite the clip's recurring appearances on social media, no one's been able to provide a plausible explanation for the enormous black mass. Could it be a supernatural entity, a glitch in the camera, or something else entirely? As always, I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers, for final judgment. Love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. In our last segment, coming up in just a few seconds, we take a look at a bizarre story about a peculiar smelling ghost. But before we do, remember to hit that subscribe button, then turn on channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Paul O'Grady claims his house is haunted by a perfumed ghost. TV entertainer Paul O'Grady recently made an intriguing revelation about his home, claiming it's haunted by a ghost that leaves behind a distinctive smell. The unusual scent, which O'Grady identified as a perfume by French fashion designer Jean Pateau, was first noticed by guests when he moved in. Initially, O'Grady couldn't detect the fragrance, but that changed a couple of years later. During an appearance on the Paranormal Activity podcast hosted by his friend, actor and presenter Yvette Fielding, O'Grady recounted the eerie experience. He described an incident when he woke up in the middle of the night and went downstairs for a drink of water, only to be greeted by the unmistakable scent on the stairs. Adding to the mystery, O'Grady shared an encounter with a friend of a relative of the previous homeowner. This friend conveyed a message asking if O'Grady had smelled the perfume, confirming its origin. Intrigued, O'Grady purchased a bottle of the vintage perfume Joy by Jean Pateau from eBay to compare the scent. To his astonishment, it matched the fragrance lingering in the house exactly. Later in the podcast, O'Grady humorously expressed his desire to return as a poltergeist in the afterlife, playfully suggesting that future kitchen mishaps would be his doing. So, does O'Grady have a sweet-smelling ghost in his home? How does one explain the lingering scent? Love to hear your thoughts on this one down below. Have you ever heard the eerie case of the Yuba County Five? We took a deep dive on this truly baffling story over on our second channel, Slaptown Mysteries. Though years would pass before March Madness became a basketball craze across the United States, in 1978, the sport was alive and well in California. Local leagues and neighborhood pickup games were a wholesome way to pass the time, and community teams like the Gateway Gators gave guys a chance to stay active and create friendships away from home and work. On February 25th, Gary Dale Mathias, Jack Madriga, Jackie Hewitt, Theodore Ted Wire, and William Sterling were scheduled to play in a tournament that, if they won, would give them a free week's stay in Los Angeles and a trip to Disneyland. Tragically, the friends never made it to the basketball court, and the reasons why remain a terrible mystery. This is their story, the baffling case of the Yuba County Five. If you want to get the full heart-wrenching details on this baffling case, we'll put some links to the episode in the description box down below there. It's also pinned in the comments.
Now, if you want to see some more creepy content, then watch that video on the top there. Otherwise, there's a spooky playlist that will keep you entertained for hours and hours. Remember to follow us on all our other socials as well. All the links are in the description box down below there. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. Hey.